What is going on my Super Sandwiches? Rhymestyle here and today I bring you a pretty big Dragon Ball Super spoiler. So this is one of those things that if you click this by accident, you want to walk away from it. I kept the title pretty ambiguous as well as, you know, the thumbnail doesn't show you anything. So if you watch past this point, you're going to know what's going to happen in the next two episodes of Dragon Ball Super. 78 is going to premiere this weekend and then 79 is going to happen two weeks after, two weeks after that and it's going to get really into this next arc. So if you don't want nothing spoiled, then leave right now. First and foremost, I want to say a big shout out to Herms for the translations, as always. If you have a Twitter account, you guys need to follow him. If you're a Dragon Ball fan and not following Herms, you're doing it wrong. I'll link his Twitter in the description below, so make sure you go say hi and all the good stuff he's always translating for us. So as you guys know, the Universe Survival Arc has officially started episode 77, and 78, which is going to air this weekend, is going to take us to like the first stage of the fights. However, this is not going to be the start of the tournament, which is good. A lot of us assume that because they're already fighting, we're going to kind of start getting into the tournament way too soon and it's going to start basically rushing, which is bad. However, good news, this is not the official start of the tournament. This weekend, and next weekend after that, is going to be more of a scrimmage. Universe 7 is going to face off against Universe 9, but first Goku needs to find two more fighters, which is going to be none other than Majin Buu and Gohan himself. Episode 78 is titled, The Universe's Gods Are Aghast. You'll be obliterated if you lose the Tournament of Power, which airs on February 12th, which again is this weekend. A Grand Martial Arts Tournament to determine the strongest in all universes has begun. It consists of a Tournament of Power between 10 contestants selected from each universe. Goku and the others are dumbfounded to hear that the losing universes will be wiped out by the Omni King. Weird, it's as if the uh, Beerus was telling you not to get involved and you just had to do it. But then again, if you didn't have a crazy punishment, it wouldn't be as interesting. So I wonder how they're going to get out of the situation just due to the fact that we do know at the end of Dragon Ball Z, they're all still technically there. Unless they're going to write out the ending and completely change it or something crazy happens in between. I have no idea what's going to happen, but we do know that they're there, but they're at the end of Dragon Ball Z, because remember, Dragon Ball Super takes place between the 10-year time skip from when Boo is defeated and when Dragon Ball Z ends, so yeah. Episode 79, Universe 9's kicker Basil versus Universe 7's Majin Boo, February 19th, which is a week after that. Before the tournament of power, a martial arts tournament called the Omnipresent Tournament is being held in order to heighten the anticipation for the fights. There, Universe 9 ends up squaring off against Universe 7. In the first match, Universe 9's Basil battles Universe 7's Majin Boo. but dot dot dot. What could possibly happen? Well, I can't answer that question, but I can tell you that if you watch on February 19th, you'll know. I always like how when they do these little leaks, or I guess descriptions of the episodes, they always put like the ominous dot dot dot, like, like what could possibly happen? Well, like I said, I know that at the end of Z, everybody's still kind of standing there, so uh, I know they kind of survive. Unless they get destroyed and get brought back, I have no idea. Some more information from Herms, we have DBS Episode 9, 79, Universe 9's Kicker Basil versus Universe 7 Majin Buu February 19th, as I already said. A battle against Universe 9, Majin Buu is up in the first round. A match attended by the Omni King is being held as a preliminary to the Tournament of Power. That battle is finally kicked off, the first representative of Universe 7 is fighting Majin Buu, but Universe 9's fighter Basil is pretty tough too, dot dot dot. So it doesn't really tell us that much, uh, other than the fact that Buu is at a disadvantage because Basil knows how to fight, whereas Majin Buu, he's just, well he's Majin Buu, he's durable, he can turn people to candy, in fact, if this happens, I'm just going to say I'm calling right now. I bet you that there's two things going to happen. Either Majin Buu is going to get knocked out because he's, really, he's not really a fighter that should be uh, taking place in a tournament because he's not the type of person that follows the rules and stuff like that. He's cool. He can probably easily take out Basil and turn him to chocolate. However, is that going to be allowed? And if that happens, how would the Omni King respond? I mean, technically, I feel like if that actually happened, the Omni King would probably laugh. But still, there's going to be rules involved in this tournament just like last time. And because of that, I feel like uh, Majin Buu will be the weakest link in this tournament. So, I don't know. Let me know your best predictions in the comment section below what you guys think is going to happen between Basil and Majin Buu when they actually fight in this upcoming episode. Now, the more important spoiler, I guess, reveal from this article is the fact that we got our first look at non-Universe 7 and non-Universe 6 characters, or I guess warriors. We got Universe 9's furries. I like to make that joke. That's why I threw uh, Swiper the Fox on the thumbnail. We got Lavenda, Basil, and Bergamo. Basil is the guy with the with the cape, the red one. Lavenda is the slouching on with the suspenders, and Bergamo is a tall one that you see fighting Goku in the uh, actual intro of Dragon Ball Super. In fact, I guarantee you that's the strongest one. And the only reason why I'm predicting that is because you guys remember when Universe Six versus Universe Seven happened, they put a lot of light and spotlight on uh, Hit, and we saw Hit a lot. Even in the intro, we saw him as a, more of a focus when they showed everybody off. And because of that, I feel like that Bergamo is going to be more of the dangerous one. However, due to the fact that this is more like the, more like the first round, I don't think they're that much of a threat. It's just kind of like the, the starter pack fight to the arc. So 
I don't really expect that much of it, but if you have any predictions of your own, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Oh yeah, I gotta say a big shout out to Yanka Productions. Uh, I will link their Twitter in the description below as well. Follow them because they always post uh, articles and scans when they get their hands on them early, so follow them. But yeah, the one thing I will say this, I do like the designs, and the main reason why is because it's it's very different. The thing that I want with this arc is uh, characters, lots of characters. For one, because toys. I like the Dragon Ball toys. And two, more characters in the upcoming games, and you guys know, as you guys know, I play a lot of these games. So the more characters, the better, and the more unique and crazy designs we see, the more excited I will be as a Dragon Ball fan. And I love the fact that they're already showing up a big variety of characters. We saw many different showing up already in the actual intro of Dragon Ball Super, the new one, and of course now we see more of these wolves from Universe 9. Now, I'm not really sure if Universe 9 is made up of all like wolf characters. For all we know, these are just basically like the top ones that probably come from the same planet. Similar how like uh, in Universe 7, the Saiyans are like the powerful race that everybody knows about, or I guess used to know about because they got destroyed. And I feel like in Universe 9, that's kind of the equivalent of that universe. They're not necessarily as evil and crazy as Saiyans were, but they're probably the more known ones in that universe, which is why they're going to represent for that universe in this upcoming tournament. So if you have any uh, of your own thoughts and speculation on that as well, feel free to let me know in the comment section below right now. Overall though, I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to see what Toriyama has in plans for us this time, and I just hope that they do not rush this. And the fact that they're doing a scrimmage first, as opposed to jumping right into the tournament, is good news. Now I feel like, honestly, because this is a scrimmage, kind of like a warm-up, I guarantee you, Calling it right now. This is one last prediction I'll put in this video before we end it. When Universe 7 beats Universe 9, because let's be real now, they're going to beat them. When Universe 7 beats Universe 9, I bet you just as like a little preliminary to show off how serious they are, one of the Omni Kings is going to blow up Universe 9. Just to show it off. And uh, I guarantee you that's going to happen. I'm calling right now. If not, well, it's not going to set the precedent that much. But, but if they do end up blowing up Universe 9, when Universe 7 wins, which let's be real now, this is the first round, they have to be the winners. When that happens, that will strike more fear into everybody and they'll make them more serious about this upcoming tournament. So uh, I, th I think that's going to happen. It's my guess. So let me know your best guess in the comment section below as well and what you take over there. As always, if you enjoyed today's quick update video, make sure you leave a like right below. Let's go for 9,001 likes. If you're excited for this upcoming arc, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. And other than that, as soon as I find out anything else, I will keep you guys in the loop. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night, whatever time period it is for you. And I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.